Hello, welcome to South Today. I'm Sally Taylor. The headlines tonight. An investigation is launched into how Dorset police handled the disappearance of Gaia Pope from Swanage. Really, it felt like they didn't take the danger to her life seriously enough until it was too late to save her. And if that's true, that's not just a question of our private grief, that's a matter of public concern. Wading into a row over dwindling river wildlife, could household detergents be the cause and is enough being done? Cleared for takeoff, the fake falcon which stops birds of a feather flocking together. We can control when we fly, how we fly, which birds we target, how we chase them. And great wildlife pictures, but all the photographers are under 18, including the winner, who's an 11-year-old from Dorset. The way Dorset police carried out the search for teenager Gaia Pope is to be investigated by the official police watchdog. The Independent Office for Police Conduct will examine the actions and decisions of the officers involved. Gaia's family has always questioned the way the search around Swanage was run and the two-day delay in finding her body after clothing was discovered. Steve Humphrey has more. Gaia Pope's disappearance last November sparked a huge search. It ended 11 days later in tragedy when the teenager's body was found. Tests showed that Gaia, who had severe epilepsy and mental health issues, had died from hypothermia. Today's announcement of an investigation by the police watchdog has been welcomed by Gaia's family. There are things that have got to come out of this for me, and so I'm very driven to expose those and ensure that this never happens again to anybody else. Really, it felt like they didn't take the danger to her life seriously enough until it was too late to save her. And if that's true, that's not just a question of our pri private grief, that's a matter of public concern. <laughs> Hundreds of volunteers took part in the search, along with police and coast guards. On the day Gaia was last seen, she had been recorded on CCTV twice, buying an ice cream in a garage and later running up Morrison Road in Swanage. That last sighting was on November the 7th last year. On the 16th of November, some of her clothing was discovered. Her family want to know why it took until the 18th for her body to be found. Yes, they were repeat searching places, but uh, I did feel that considering that, all in all, it did take a long time to find her. Today, the police watchdog said it will consider whether the force appropriately risk assessed, resourced and reviewed the missing person report. As a family, of course, we have a lot of questions and we're relieved to know that uh, an independent organisation is committed to finding those answers with us. And while the family have questions about the way the search was managed, they say they have nothing but praise for the officers and volunteers who are looking for Gaia. Well, Sally, the investigation by the police watchdog is expected to take up to six months. Today, Dorset Police issued a statement. They say that they referred the matter to the IOPC after carrying out their own review. They say they will cooperate fully with the investigation. Now, the inquest into Guy's death was opened and adjourned back in February. At that stage, the coroner ordered a series of reports from the police, from those treating Guy's epilepsy and from the NHS Trust, which was caring for her. Sally from Swanage. Back to you. Steve, thanks very much.